and exhale. And actually we'll do a quick glute test. So everyone uh, put your feet out in front and then you're gonna sit on your hands. What we're gonna try to do is squeeze just one of your glutes. So it's just see if you can only squeeze the right one. Note whether it turns on or not, or if both of them accidentally turn on. We wanna be able to isolate them and see if you can try the left one, only turn the left one on. This is just a glute coordination test to see how functioning your glutes are. Yep, E, some, and yet, E. Some, three, two, one, and relax. Trent, you just look ridiculous. That's it, Myra. All right, so now I know your two tournament forms. From that reverse plank, we're working on that circle grab. So it's like a handshake, and then we're having our, we're turning it downwards and then grabbing with our eagle claw. It's just these grab. And remember, when we grab, when we grab someone's arm, we're, we don't wanna just grab them all the way around with our fingers. A lot of our grabs are actually with the fingernails themselves. And so that way you're grabbing onto the muscle so if they try to tear away, then usually you'll leave like strong red marks. Or if you're really good, then you can actually tear the muscle and separate it from their forearm. So whenever we grab, that's why a lot of times we like to grab like this. So from that reverse punch, we'll do that circle grab. The circle goes on the inside. So we don't want to, I don't know how you even circle outwards, but circle grab and then cross kick and straight punch. So reverse punch, circle grab, cross kick, and straight punch. And when we punch, we want to punch through the palm and make sure that left hand stays on the right side. The cleaner that circle grab, the better. So when you're and you freeze it on a dime, then pull, that looks much better. Circle grab, toe kick, punch. Again, circle grab, palm strike, and punch. Fun che, or right foot forward, I'm gonna make sure that this right arm just swings all the way across and my left strikes as well. So in a uh, Choi foot, you see a lot of moves where they block and strike almost instantaneously. So somebody will hold a pad out in front and they'll go bam bam. So they'll just hit pa pa. So that's the feeling we're hitting, we're blocking and striking and then instantly going into Tiger Steals the Heart. So it's two moves. It's one, two. So we wanna travel quite a bit with these. All right, so give that a try, right forward. So left fun che and right tiger steals a heart. The more you can travel with that second step slide, the better. Especially hitting a good horse stance. That's a John. That's a Trent. So I'm here, I'm striking fun che, and then once I grab here, I'm striking right through. So aiming for the, either the floating ribs, uh, or if I want, I can strike the back, but usually it's just right towards the solar plex or the floating ribs itself. So it's just, Bam here, and then wow, instantly just striking underneath. Yep. E. Yep. E. There's that move in the form where we go circle, elbow, down, up, and out. And um, I think most of us know how to do it. It's just that some of the details might be a little bit off. So we'll work on just the first part, this upwards and straight punch. So it's a two sow, a glancing block, up, make sure we pass the ear. And as I do that, my left foot's stepping in, and then I wanna sink into a right seven star stance. And I punch through my left palm as well. So again, it's up and out. The main thing is trying to sink your weight into that seven star stance. So we don't wanna just stand up tall. We wanna feel like our fist is boring through the other person. So if I stand up, then my fist isn't gonna go as far, but the moment I sink, now my fist goes a lot farther and I can really drill that into somebody. So again, I'm going up and drill all the way out. So why don't we work on just that? Going up, step in, we're hitting the inside of our forearm. And then as I sink into a seven star stance, I'm punching through my hand is doing a circular motion and then drill straight out. Yep. E. Some. Say. From here, we're gonna turn around, make sure we find our target first, 
and then we're gonna do a fan che, tiger steals a heart, and then stomp the right foot, halting palm, and then we're gonna grab, cross kick, hammer, and then hop thrusting kick, hammer, then one more move, hop into prop and kick, actually one more, then reverse punch. The goal is to be able to memorize each road independently of the form as well. So you wanna learn the road and you wanna learn the entire form. All right, so let's go one more. We'll go full speed, then we'll call it a day. Nala, move, <laughs> run away. Let's see. <laughs> All right, oh. set, full speed, and yep. E, some, say. Yep, E, some, say. Yep, E, some, say. Yep, E, some, turn around. Yep, E, some, cross kick, say. Yep, E, some, say. Woo. All right, good job, you guys. <sighs> so set, salute, and by the school. Courtesy and respect. Courtesy and respect. And class of Great job, you guys.